Hey YouTube, Beth here with Our Crafty Place. And I want to do a short little video of some candles that I have started making. And I sell in my booth at our local flea market. And I also do sell them online. Um, what it is going to be is a hot chocolate candle. And it's going to be in a clear glass mug. And it should end up looking just like a cup of hot chocolate with uh, whipped cream on top. And it definitely, definitely smells like it. So here's what we need. Of course, you need a stove top. And uh, you need your melting pot for your wax. Now, I have, I have only got two melting pots. And I do quite a bit of candles. So um, I had uh, made some. And then I didn't need to make any more at the time so this is the wax that was left over from my original um hot cocoa uh candle so i just uh, tap it out of the uh, melting pot so i'm going to go ahead and put that in there now that's definitely not going to be enough because i'm going to try to make four at this time so i'm getting my uh pillar mix of wax out right here and i'm going to add to the pot I'm just going to pour what I have left here. It'll probably take it all, and if it doesn't, as you can see, I can save it for later. Let's bring the camera on down here a little bit more so you can see what's going on. I apologize. I've not got the best camera set up at this point, but I will be soon, hopefully. Now, uh, you do want to melt this over a slow heat, so I'm going to put the oven on low, or right between low and the next number up so and what will happen is it will um uh, it will melt um after i get it to a liquid state i'll add in my fragrance which is a uh, huge rich chocolate and then i will also add in some more color because where i've added so much of the extra wax i don't think we'll still have the dark brown as brown like the cocoa right. so uh once i get that added in then i will take you out here where i've got my uh little crafting area set up trying to move it out of the house so that i've got just a crafting area and um we'll be back okay while we're waiting on the wax to melt i did want to show you i have already put in the color for our wax and it's a little dark wax brick that I just take a paring knife and trim off and sprinkle it down in there and yes that's supposed to be brown right now it looks black but that's just where it's so concentrated once everything melts it will definitely turn brown and here's what the little block looks like if you can see it so good but there's my little block okay on to the next step okay now here are the mugs that i was telling you about that we're going to pour the candles into and i already have my wicks set into the cups and i just uh i get these wicks they already have the little um tips on the ends that keeps it from uh, making a mess once it burns all the way down and um they actually are coated with wax now these are the kind that has the little zinc core um but this is the kind that i use and here's what the mugs look like. So shortly we will come out here again and we will be pouring our wax in. Okay, we finally got our wax melted. As you can see it right there. See, it's got the brown color to it. So now we're going to go ahead and pour it into our cups. Now I'm not going to pour them all the way full because I want to leave it enough. To be able to put some of the uh, whipped cream in it.
All righty. Looks like we got them all right about the same height. So now our next step is going to be to uh, do the whipping of the uh, whip topping. And uh, when that gets to the right cooled state, I will be back with the camera and show you that portion. Okay, now we're in a little bit of a different setting. We're over here at our craft factory. And um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and make the wax to do the whip topping portion of the candles with. So what I do first is, of course, I've got to get my wax out. And this may take quite a bit, so I'll go ahead and pour us a good amount in the bowl. Because once it melts, it, it shrinks down. And then I actually will take it and put it in the microwave to melt it. And after it's melted, uh, I let it start hardening up a little bit. Then I'm going to take a mixer, just like you would icing or cake, and start whipping it. And then I'm actually going to put it in a piping bag with the actual tip on it and pipe it out. So when we come back, it should be ready for that stage. Okay, I want to show you we've got it now to consistency. It's kind of like mashed potatoes and I just unplugged the blend mixer. Let's try this again. But, um, smooth enough now. We just have a short time frame to work with this to get it into the piping bag and get it piped on. So let me get it in the piping bag and I'll be right back. Okay, now we'll get it in our piping bag here. This is the really messy part. Alright, now let's see if we can get some to pipe out. Uh, Hopefully it's not too hard. Mm. Yeah, there it comes. I don't know. Let's see how they extra hand in there. I think I let it get too hard. Oh, great. Get one of my hairs in it. Lovely. Let me have it, please. <laughs> We have Johnny here. It's our crack factor. How, how much you want to put in there? Like 
Johnny from our craft factory saves the day, ladies and gentlemen. As usual. Taught runs, me everything I know. Runs his mouth most of the time, but saves the day when it comes to it. Here it comes. Watch out. Did Johnny get a five star rating on this video? Yes, indeed. Fill her up. How'd I do? Good guy. What is this thing here you got? That's the phone. <laughs> That's one of Johnny's strawberries. A sticky face in there, you know you want to. <laughs> hey everybody it's johnny from our craft factory you know that guy over there from our craft factory yep <clears throat> hey you know beth and i we do a little work together and uh you know i when she don't know how to do something well i, I do usually when i don't in all honesty giving credit where credit's due when i don't know how to do something then she does but most of the time i know how to do it no, I'm just kidding. Now, if you don't get that hard stuff off there, you won't get them clumps in there. That's why it ain't coming out. Yeah, you don't. That's a clump boogie. Don't know where it came from. Okay. Now, you try to do the others. She can do them, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. Come over on our crafty. Uh-uh. No, grab it down at the bottom. You get more pressure. Get more pressure. Watch out now, you'll start squirting. Oh, I didn't punch a hole in it. I felt it. Where? Oh, right, right in there. there. Yeah, your finger. I did. <laughs> I'm squeezing too hard. Oh, there's a hole up here, too. Oh, my gosh, she's a squeezer. Okay. I wish we could put another bag over top of this one. No, you just have to squirt it into another, or squirt it out in the bowl and, and then reheat it. I just dug another one into it. Where'd you get that bag at? I brought them with me. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to stop at this point because it's making a big mess. And try it again. Just a second. Okay. Hopefully, we'll get it right this time. harder to do this with wax than it is with soap or icing for that matter. Not doing too bad. This last one, hopefully. The wax down in there some more. See, when it comes out on the bag, then the bag is actually slippery. And I don't put another hole in this one. Oh well. Look, I'm wearing more of it than I'm getting it in the candle. <laughs> okay, Alrighty, well, we got
got her done. Missy, but we got her done. All right. I appreciate it. Okay, I wanted to give you a better shot of what they ended up looking like. And you can go and purchase these online at either my Etsy or my eBay shop. And that would be titled Our Crafty Place. And special thanks to Johnny from Our Craft Factory. And we'll see you guys later.